guys, Mars Sengen here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video, and so today we are going to jump in and do the new Infinite Dragon Ball History stage versus Extraordinary Super Warriors. I haven't checked the, um, like, the who you fight and their typings or anything like that. The only thing I've checked is the missions. So I do this all the time whenever there's a new IDBH stage. Just basically go into it blind with a team that can complete all the missions. As always, there are missions for three units of two different categories, as well as one for beating it within a certain number of turns, which I believe is 15. Um, and the categories for this one is Wicked Bloodline and Artificial Life Forms. So obviously for Artificial Life Forms, you don't have to use Metal Coolers because they are Wicked Bloodline units as well. So there is a way you can, you know, there's quite a bit of like wiggle room in how you build your team. But I thought we'd just go in with an all-out Wicked Bloodline team, double Metal Cooler leads for the 200%. And so for our Artificial Life Forms, we have three Metal Coolers. And then we have uh, LR Cooler, Golden Freezer, and Cooliza. Cooliza obviously is a great support unit. Metal cool, uh, Golden Freezer can potentially take over the tanking role from Metal Cooler if we get the revive early. Because I know a lot of people complain about metal cooler defensively um, and obviously mine is only 55 percent uh, so is the friend so after reviving obviously the metal cooler doesn't have that like safety net of the revival right so um i think we'll keep cool on rotation with him as well because he's a support unit he needs to stack so we only have two links strongest clan in space first for conquest he's got 226k defense though. i don't expect this uh gohan on the first phase to be hitting particularly hard but and of course metal cooler then gives you a red wow four point okay we do have double support on the rotation but two links active at level one and that was his attack stat so that's pretty good um <laughs> and then cooliza obviously we need him to be getting additional supers as often as possible so he can get all those extra stacks of his defense um but yeah i did pull one copy of both the lrs it took me 1,500 stones to pull one copy of Goku and Vegeta, so that was not ideal. Um, good old Metal Cooler. We do the uh, dodge the normal, eat the super meme, so you love to see that. Uh, the Int Metal Cooler is probably the weak link on the team um, in terms of his defense and everything, but he should be okay. And then obviously AGL Metal Cooler. The problem, of course, with the new LR having the same name is that a lot of these other metal coolers, they just don't work very well together. So you can see the big difference there. No support. Again, we don't have many links active and uh, only the 12 key super. But much, much lower attack stat um, from our boy that time. So, yeah, look at this. Every single link active for STR cooler in slot one. That's, uh, that's pretty good. Um, <laughs> man's about to go off. In fact, he probably kills... Uh, We'll float Cooliza off and put him on the other rotation. But yeah, I'm quite impressed. 4.78 linked up with Cooler and with 30% support. Pretty good for uh, 30%. Or <laughs> oh, sorry, 55%, I should say. Is Tech Exchange Boo worth the 400 red coins? No. Tech Exchange Boo is one of the worst Dokkan Fest exclusives um, that is available. Like the newer ones, obviously. Obviously, there are older ones that are worse than him. Um, but no, Tech Exchange Boo is awful um as soon as we get a new like buhan or like a new like margin power leader or something he will be com like completely replaced so yeah i really wouldn't um worry too much about about him so we got yeah two links at level one uh 200k defense with the support from metal cooler i guess it's not awful it's just the fact that physical metal cooler has his revive for free just like all the time so if uh, we did get, like, one shot by a super here from Goku, we would just revive anyway. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, having LR Metal Cooler is obviously going to go a long way to um, doing this within the turns because of the fact that, you know, obviously he can get off multiple additional attacks, um, loads of crits. He can be looking very, very good. And obviously for me, for this run, you know, mine is Rainbow, so... Uh, AGL Cell, I would say, is worth the coins, because AGL Cell is very, very good. His team is very good, um, so I think overall, I would say he is definitely worth it. Um, this AGL Metal Cooler, I feel like this team is so powerful. Like, I saw people talking about, like, oh, you know, AGL Metal Cooler, you can just use him as a floating... Uh... Oh, let's go. Super Attack Negation. Yeah, screw you, Goku. I just regrow that arm. Zero damage. 
Um, yeah, people are saying, oh, you know, AGL Metal Cooler, he has the same name as the physical LR, but you can just run him off rotation. But, like, this rotation where we have STR Cooler in slot 2, like, the AGL Metal Cooler is just not going to get a chance to ever attack or be hit because the rest of the team is just going absolutely crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd watch your sub as your face for the Zeno. <laughs> Thank you for the video. Yeah, I appreciate you. Um, yeah, I was not expecting a Zeno that early for um, Metal Cooler. So. Alright, so let's do this. We'll keep, we'll keep Cool Easer around again, like I say, until we get a revival off with one of the Metal Coolers. And then Golden Freezer can kind of float in to just be their uh, replacement. Six million! This is at 55%, by the way. Like, yeah, he, Coolies is giving 30% support, but, man, that's really, really good. <laughs> and then Coolies himself is not too shabby. Obviously, we're more interested in him building up his defense as opposed to, like, what kind of attack stats he's putting out. But he's looking pretty good here as well. Double super, we get the crits. Um, what turn are we even on? We must be doing pretty well on this so far. Uh, turn... Seven. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we'll do this. We'll do this. And then, yeah, we should finish him off this turn. And then we've got the Dokon attack for whoever's coming next. So, uh, 7.1. Oh, my God. Linked up with Metal Cooler and support in slot three. 55%. Like, is he good? The free revival and negating physical super attacks? Uh... Oh, we might actually die now and get the revive. Oh, no. He's, he's too good, even at 55%. <laughs> yeah, because after supering, I guess he's fully built up. I should have looked at what his defensive stat is, but he just ate a type disadvantage super attack. I mean, Infinite Dragon Ball history is obviously not, like, the hardest event in the world or anything, but I would say that that's pretty good, um, personally, but maybe that's just me. Uh, we'll do this. I need to get... Ideally, I would have liked to get an AGL orb for Metal Cooler, but I guess it is what it is. It is what it is. Got a Goku Black Rift, got two Zenos in part one, all in 2,000 stones. That's pretty good. Yeah, I got very lucky summoning for STR Cooler in part one. So the fact that I did not get particularly great luck in part two is um, not the end of the world, I suppose. But... Right, double super for Coolieza again. I mean, we're basically two-turning every single phase. The earlier phases, we could one-turn them. But, like, yeah, we're still doing pretty well here. And then, yeah, he healed it all back as well. That's the other thing. So he took 150k from a type disadvantage super. And then we're just back at full health again already. <laughs> so, pretty good. And then AGL Metal Cooler can do similar. Um, or he's just going to kill, you know. I don't think AGL Metal Cooler has actually been hit a single time yet. Um, which is kind of funny. Oh, we can use the active skill for uh, physical Metal Cooler. Let's see. What is his active skill again? Because, yeah, he's been hit seven times. Because you can use it immediately after reviving. It does ultimate damage and recovers HP. It kind of feels like a waste to use it when we have type disadvantage and we haven't even lost any health. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this. And then we're going to get the Dokon attack. The Dokon attack with him is obviously not optimal because he's got type disadvantage. But he is rocking a 5.5 million attack. Linked up with STR Cooler, I would say 5.5 million at 55% with no support unit on the rotation is, is pretty good. So obviously we would need to crit in order to do really big damage here. But if this is my one, I did give mine a level 5 silver crit. Or, so he could crit maybe. <laughs> no. Oh, well, you know, he didn't crit. He only did 9 million damage. Is this an AoE? No. <laughs> so, yeah, less than 100k from type disadvantage. And then, of course, we're just going to heal all of that at the end of the turn. And the other Metal Cooler heals, like, oh, man. <laughs> is Wicked Bloodline, if you build this team correctly, like, is can you die with this team? Because um, uh, this team seems pretty good. Oh, he's going to be dripping in support as well. Let's let's uh, full 24 key super. Oh, my God. He's going to look crazy. Um, 361k defense at the start of the turn. 
and then let's see what we get here. So obviously we're going to tank the normal attacks for double digit damage. Uh, we're back to full health again, of course. 6.8 million. <laughs> yeah, this battle cooler is, uh, is pretty good. And then Kuliza, he's up to 4.24 now with the support as well. That is uh, pretty wild. Yeah, we're recording this to go up on the channel uh, a bit later on. Uh, we are currently live on stream, but I'm showing off the animated overlay that my boy Mario Zeus made for me. So there's no uh, chat visible on the screen. But yeah, look at that. We just absolutely dominated. I think we should use the active skill because otherwise at this rate we're never actually going to get to see it. <laughs> Because, yeah, we don't need the heal, but... <laughs> You're dead. Oh, and that was the last bit. <laughs> so, yeah, I think we definitely did that in 15 turns. I didn't even see how many that was, but... That should be every single mission uh, completed in the one run, which is obviously what we were going for. Uh, wow. This video's... Uh, the timer on the recording is only 11 and a half minutes. And we beat the event within the turns, all the missions done in one run, or at least it should be. Um, when the game finally decides to load, there we go. Um, so we get our one stone for clearing the stage. I mean, that was uh, that was quite the, uh, the walk in the park, wasn't it? I mean, obviously I'm using probably the most optimal version of the team, except for the fact that we didn't even need to rely on AGL Golden Freezer. So I could have just bought somebody else, like Transforming Freezer, like somebody else to just do damage or something. And we would have beaten it even faster than that. So if we go into the missions, uh, yeah, that is all the missions done in one go. So we can collect our bounty of 23 stones, a Kai, and some training items. Pretty good for an event that was very, very easy. So let me know how you guys got on with this event down below. Uh, what teams did you use? Did you do all the missions in one run? Obviously, it can be easier for some people, depending on your box, to just do the two missions, like uh, the three artificial life forms units and the three wicked bloodline units as two separate runs. Because, you know, people always complain there's not enough content as well, right? So if you want to try out some different teams, at least you get two runs out of this event instead of one. But there you go. With the Metal Coolers, especially because there are all those free-to-play Metal Coolers, uh, it's very easy to do the whole thing in one run. Because the Metal Coolers are Wicked Bloodline and Artificial Lifeforms at the same time. So, there you go. So, that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.